Okay, so you have your engraver and you're all excited, it's connected to your computer, but it doesn't work. You don't understand what's going on and then you're like, what's going on? So very simple. I'm going to show you how to solve this one in a very simple way. You have to remember that anytime such an issue like that exists, that's because the software or the OS, the system for the computer, does not have the proper driver. The Creality use what we call a uh, chipset for the for the USB, which is a CH340 or above. So you want to find that specific driver and install on your computer, okay? So and then once you do so, you will be able to connect everything. So let's go. On Windows, usually there's no problem. Usually it's a, a Max problem, you know. So anyway. If you are on Mac, um, we're gonna just click on devices. Uh, you have here some profile, okay? It's the same thing. If you look here, what Creality use is a GRBL. If you don't have the file from Creality, that's fine. You can just click on create manually. You're gonna uh, scroll down and select this one, which is a DR GR. BL uh, system in order to connect the USB uh, serial. So you're gonna click on next and then you're gonna select this one serial usb next and uh, you want to name it however you want to name and next thing you want to do i'm using currently the 400 uh, millimeter by 415 from creality which is a the engraver falcon 2 and uh, the 22 watts so that will be 400 for me okay so you want to make sure what's for yours okay so 400 for me by 415 and i'm gonna click on next and that will be the front left okay for my auto home and i leave it default and i say this way and i go finish so now we have our um device right here so we're gonna say okay and we have our device right but now when you look here you can see it detects automatically you know what? when I have my my uh, USB connected. In case it doesn't work, the issue is connected to the driver. So I'm gonna show you the solution. Keep watching. Do go in your terminal. You open your terminal and then you want to type in. So this is the command that I'm gonna also show you in the in the description. I'm gonna paste the thing so you'll be able to see it. Once you do so, you just want to type on return here you see it says no found so why because your computer cannot see this so to solve this we're gonna install this okay which is a driver that we need so we're gonna you're gonna type in your password normal you just install and the next thing that happens you're gonna install on your system and if you're using a i'm using a mac os ventura 13 so you will want to restart so that everything will be able to get in you also want to um, allow you know your system modifications so anyway once this is done you have the new uh, extension name style and that should be it so let's go to the next we're gonna um navigate under under this uh, okay, I'm using a Mac Book Pro Ventura, okay, um, I think OS 13. So that's pretty much the same for the few last, uh, the three last, I believe. But if you don't find the same thing, you want to type and look, okay, to see what's the proper path. Okay, anyway, so on the CD library extension, you're going to type enter. And then here, all you want to do, you want to type in ls. What we're trying to do, we're trying to see if we have this right here. If we don't have the specific one here, then we need to install it. Okay. And once you install it, then you will be able to connect properly your devices, your engraver to your computer. So this extension here, that's the one that was missing. When it's missing on, on your computer, on your Mac, you can't do anything. So once it is installed, it will be found right here under Macintosh library extension and this extension and another path also, which is Mac, I mean, whatever your drive name is, a library state extension, library extension, and you will find that right there. So once it is found correctly, you will be able to see that your computer, your laser is now ready and then you won't be showing disconnected. Like usually you will be showing like comes like some, some uh, let me see here it will show disconnected but once you turn your laser on and all the different things are connected properly you will be able to find 
your driver that will pull out you will select the proper one and then you will simply load in and then boom ready so that's pretty much what that is i'm gonna leave in the description how to do that and i hope it helps you if you have a question let me know in the comment other than that have a good day bye bye